Guided Meditation, The Women at the Tomb. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Feel your breath reaching the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale slowly. Let your breath out. Breathe in. Deeply feel the oxygen circulate and nourish you. Breathe out. Breathe in. in. Breathe out. You are walking along a long, winding, mountainous path in the cool morning air. You feel the crunch of small rocks beneath your sandaled feet, the dust creeping between your toes. You keep moving on, your breath becoming more ragged as you face the climb. Three women ahead of you walk together, heads slightly facing down. They know their path. You can tell by their bodies that they are moving purposefully. They have an important task ahead of them. You can see they carry a basket laden with oil and cloth. Small leather strung bags lay on top of the cloth. You can smell the fragrance of spice in the wind carried towards you from the women. You trudge on, keeping on with your climb keeping an inquisitive eye on the women ahead. The women start to turn off the dusty, rocky path towards a cave. You witness a large stone to the side of the mouth of the cave. A ray of light coming from the mouth is visible. The women look up and you hear an audible gasp. You know this is not what they were expecting. Their work for the day is not to be. Who has changed their plans? You can't help but to stop in your tracks and watch in awe as you crane your neck and raise your hand to shield your eyes from the rising sun to see them enter the tomb. Your curiosity has gotten the better of you. You move closer, trying not to be seen. You don't want to impose on the women. But you have to know what has happened. You hope that they are okay. Suddenly, you are upon the mouth of the cave, no longer watching from afar, but are one with them inside the cave. A man, more beautiful than you have ever seen, dressed in white, is speaking to the women, calming their fears with the words in the calmest voice you have ever heard. Do not be alarmed. You were looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, just as he foretold. He is not here. He gestures to a long, flat stone, where a seemingly forgotten muslin cloth lay. He continues warmly. They had laid him here, but quickly go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him in Galilee just as he told you. You watch the colour drain from the women's faces, for they are scared and amazed. You too were in shock. You could feel the hair stand up on your neck. You slid quietly from the tomb and waited aside as the women fled, not seeing you were there. You could tell how afraid they were and wondered if they'd have the courage to tell the people what the man in white had said. You know you wouldn't be able to speak of this. You wonder how they could. They obviously knew this Jesus of Nazareth well. They had come to anoint him with what was carried so carefully in their basket. For he had died and had been entombed where you all had stood. They had left it behind as they fled. You wondered if you should bring it to them. No, that would not be right. Suddenly, wonder and awe draws over you as you realise who they had come to anoint. Jesus, the teacher. Awash with shock, you abruptly turn on your heel and head off on your journey. Your skin tingles. You find yourself moving further and further away and continue until the dark shapes of the three women become a mere shadow on the path. 
weight starts to lift from your body. As you breathe in, feel the cool breath enter your lungs and transfer slowly out of your body. Breathe in and feel the warm sun on your back melting away your aches. Breathe in out, you feel at ease. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, feeling light as a feather carried on the wind. And breathe out, carried away from the place. Breathe in. And breathe out. Open your eyes and return to the room.